says, uh, um, I guess first a statement, multiple MEM365 calendars. Yay. Yay. The company I work for places consultants at other companies. These consultants have an, a Microsoft 365 account and a calendar at our company and a totally separate one at the client. I've had a few people ask about some way of the merging both separate Microsoft 365 calendars or using an online tool so when someone from our company or the client tries to book a meeting, they can find the actual availability over both calendars. Any suggestions? Third, it has to be all, a third-party tool. Yeah, we we this is it's we we talk about this a lot that we have a lot of calendaring questions, which you would think would be a hint to Microsoft about like uh, consolidating the strategies <laughs> around calendars across all these solutions. But Dates we are all... Microsoft's kryptonite, so that's yeah. not happening. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's right up there with tasks and task management. There's more movement there. Um, yeah, I think we all agree there are third-party solutions that solve this. Yes. I use every day, I use, I use Calendly. That's my solution. Yep. I use Calendly too. I know that mm -hmm. there's there. Are, I mean, I don't. I'm not like loyal to anybody. There's Calendly. There's Calendar Bridge. Um, there's a there's a there. I know there's several sync tools that will just do it. But Calendly has been the one that I've used that's worked out the best. And in fact, it's really nice because you can have like. So I have a Google Calendar, a multiple M365 calendars, and then I get extra calendars from clients. And I'm always trying to keep everything organized. And so you can actually put in the different calendars and then pull all that into one interface. And then if somebody books, it automatically like checks all of your calendars and books it. And you can decide like what to check and where to put it and things like that. But I think at the end of the day right now, there's nothing that Microsoft provides out of the box to do that. So you would have to have a third party tool. Yep. So with Calendly to be able to add the multiple calendars, is that a premium subscription or is that the base <laughs> subscription? <laughs> I, I'm serious question. Is that a paid subscription to do that? It is. It is a paid subscription. Yes. Yeah. Okay. The free version does not allow you to put multiple calendars in, correct? And I think the free the free one only allows you to book meetings against one calendar. Like you can pick a calendar, but to do the multiple calendars, I think is the paid subscription. And you can only have one type of count of meeting also. Yeah. On the free one. I think so. Yeah. yeah. So so I had this question come up recently. And I started looking into a solution, but I have not tried implementing it. Uh, this solution is not a good solution. It is a <laughs> hacky workaround. But assuming that both of your calendars <clears throat> are have a web-based like you know Outlook.com option, you can use Power Automate with to to listen to you. You would use two separate Power Automate flows, one for each calendar that essentially listens for when a new item is created or when one is modified and then go over and then basically write it to the other calendar and same thing on the other side. However, you have to be smart about that because if you don't have some sort of trigger condition, then you will end up making a loop. You will have a new new item on calendar one. It will write it to calendar two. <laughs> calendar two says, oh, I have a new item. Let's write Let's it to write calendar it to one. one. And now you have 37 <laughs> meetings at the same time. So trigger conditions, very important. Also, that's a hacky solution. And it is not by any means a syncing opportunity. Yeah, I, I think the last also time we discussed like something similar to this scenario, we talked about that exact thing, Jonathan, about uh, you know building that kind of automation to go and do, and and it's yeah, and it has inherent problems with that. And if I think the last time we were talking about it, somebody was syncing three calendars, and it becomes just really burdensome to do that between. So um, yeah, like so mine, I sync between three calendars, and so Calendly is the best solution for that, for me. Again, there are the third-party tools. I don't know what they cost. I've been using Calendly for years, and so I'm I'm good. I'm not looking around at can I save five dollars a month or whatever, you know. So, uh, uh, you know, speak up if you have another favorite tool that's out there. But Calendar Bridge. Calendar Bridge. Calendar Bridge, yeah, for me. There needs to be a showdown between Calendly and Calendar Bridge now. <laughs>